Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and well, the video didn't go as quite as planned. This is a really quick short introduction. I actually filmed the video outdoors, but uh, the first section didn't film, so here we are right now, sat home in the evening. I was just editing it. But what I said that didn't get into the cut or the edit is, yeah, right, apologies for not uploading any videos recently. Uh, there has been a reason though, it's not because I've uh, lacked motivation or anything. I've been busy editing two videos and I've got a little bit of a different kind of style of video coming up quite soon. So hopefully that'll be coming uh, the weekend or the end of the weekend. And it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty, in I'm enjoying making it. And uh, hey, here's a little clip. Here's a little insight to it. And then uh, we'll get on with the video outdoors. You might be thinking. So today. 145 get stronger in other area just as the point as you start to get to the but it's about how well you can rest to be ready for the next session so obviously with this new kind of phase or experimentation or whatever you want to call it type of video your feedback is really important to me so feel free to leave some comments down below not necessarily on this video of any of them and just let me know what you do like or what you don't like or what was valuable or what you'd like to know more of and I'm more than happy to sort of like adjust and see how things go. I, this channel isn't just about the content that I want to throw out but it's also about me helping you as much as possible. That's what I want to do is help as many people in this world as I can. So I just wanted to keep this video really nice and short just about you know like hey hi everyone I've uh, been missing you I have actually and uh, it's been hard for me to not put the usual type of content out because um, it would kind of, how's, what's the word, it would collide or cross over with some of the content that I'm going to put out later on. So that's the reason, but stay safe, hope everyone's all doing alright and obviously with this coronavirus pandemic that you're surviving and uh, in good health. Sorry if there's some wind, let me just put my hand over this side of the microphone. But, um, yeah, I hope you're all safe and everything. And look, I've seen so many uh, things that, you know, it's about personal hygiene at the moment, quite obviously talks about. But personal hygiene doesn't just stop and start when there's like an epidemic of uh, virus of some kind going around. Personal hygiene should be, you know, all. 24-7, 365 days a year for your whole life. You should, you know, make sure you've got clean hands. Don't put your fingers in your mouth and stuff. Not just for yourself, but for people around you. And uh, I really do think that's really important. But not just about that, you know, like, the way the world is going, you can see, like, global climate change, the forests, fires in Australia, and these viruses spreading, and... You know, with these viruses that are spreading, the reasons why they come up is because of uh, the poor conditions that animals are put in in these factory farms. And the reason why they're in these factory farms is because people are demanding for them, because they demand for them by, you know, buying that stuff in a supermarket to put on their plates. So we're kind of a product of our own environment in a way when we're kind of creating this world of like, where these diseases and viruses can spread, where these pe animals, people, I almost said, are kept in close in, in cavities. And yeah, that's just the same when you see like in the slums of some area, in some cities and stuff, you know, viruses and if we're looking like, I can't think of any examples, unfortunately, because I've ha I'm a, I live in a privileged world where I've lived like in Helsinki in big cities where there's a lot of infrastructure and healthcare systems. But uh, going a little bit too in depth, but just, you know, it's supply and demand. And if we constantly make a supply, <laughs> we make a supply, we make a demand for these type of animal products, uh, you know, we're just creating more of this kind of future that we're going to be living in. And yes, like this is a product of our own making. We really should be held, held, holding ourselves accountable. What are we doing? And I'm going to try and do the utmost that I can in whatever way. I don't know what it is. But I'm trying to help and spread joy and love and whatever through this thing that we've got going on. But I'm just heading home. It's Friday. It's the weekend. 
excited for that got some runs coming up i'll be sure to share them with you no doubt don't worry and uh, if you want to follow it all my strava link is down below along with my instagram you can follow me there as well if you wish but i'm not going to force you to do that my hands are pretty cold maybe you can see i don't know you know when you go like this it's pretty hard but one thing i would suggest with this coronavirus thing is um as we said prevention is one of the best kind of ways to deal with it but also they say you know when you get a fever that's a sign that you know might something might be going on is find out your temperature normal days don't wait till you got a fever and you don't know what the temperature is so if you're not, even if you're not ill now check your resting heart rate check your uh temperature and that can be really kind of a good indication for that when you do start to feel maybe something that you can test it and you're like hey yeah that's normal that's like in when i was feeling normal that's good so thank you very much for watching the video really do appreciate it have a good weekend as i said I'm gonna... yeah see you bye